Hello, okay, today we are going to create a very simple photo slideshow video. We're going to be using a program called Photo Film Strip. Uh, you can get this by going to photofilmstrip.org or if you're on Linux, just use your package manager, it should be in there. Once you install it and load it up, you should, you should be greeted with this welcome screen where you can open existing projects or create a new one. We're going to create a new one. We're going to give it a name. I'll just call this tutorial and the directory you want to put it in. If you get an error saying that it cannot create this, it's because you already have a project in that folder with the same name. So just make sure you give it a unique name. Okay, and you can either now drag photos over or click here. I'm just going to choose these photos that I already have set up for this. And right now you could just render this out and have a video done in no time by clicking this render button. But uh, we're going to tweak it a little bit because uh, again, this is a very simple application. Uh, there's one or two things I wish it had added to it, one of which is like face recognition, because right now it's creating these random panning effects. As you can see, this is where it starts on this photo and this where is where it ends. Uh, and sometimes it's very awkward where it pans in and zooms in on stuff. So right now we're just going to quickly tweak these. It just take, I mean, like I said, you could render it how it is, but I like to tweak it. So this is starting with my son on his bike and then going down to his feet. That's kind of weird. I think I'll start on his face and kind of go down a little bit to there. Click on the next one. Okay, it's starting with a full picture of my kids, zooming in, that one's good. This one's good, I'm gonna move it up like that. This one, see now that it's it's starting here and kind of panning out and showing him, that's okay. I kind of would want him in the shot the whole way, so I'm gonna just move that up a little bit. Here, it's gonna start with my daughter, it's gonna show her pumpkin and then pan up to her face, that's okay. Uh, this one's kind of the same thing, but I'm gonna reverse it so it's not the same as last one. One's gonna pan up and the other one's gonna pan down. And then here, again, I'm going to center it on my daughter. Again, it's just what you like. Uh, and again, we can just render it out now. Now you can look and you can see each one of these images is set to seven seconds. You can change that with a uh, one second transition, which is set to fade. You can do none or roll. I'm not really what sure what roll is because I always just do fade. Uh, and very simple, you can do no effect, black and white, or sepia tone. I'm just going to say no. And you can change that for each photo. Um, and again, I can just click on here and I can choose what format I want, the resolution I want, and I will click start and it will create a video file in the directory we save this project to. Um, while that's rendering out, and I'll play that at the end, uh, the, the only other thing this program really does is music. It doesn't do it great. It has some nice features. It's one of the things I wish it could do a little more. Mainly I wish that it could um, trim the audio and fade it out. So here are your options. I can come in here, I can choose song or multiple songs. So I'm just going to choose this song here. Again, you can add more to this. Now you can select this set to duration of slideshow to fit audio files. So if you put one or more songs in here and you check that, it's going to stretch the slideshow out to fit those songs. So if you have five photos in a five minute song, it's going to play one photo every minute. So keep that in mind, but it will adjust as you add photos, it will fix it. I should also mention, uh, this program seems fairly stable except for uh, when you're working with audio files. Again, its prime focus is the, is the um, slideshow, the images, and the audio is kind of just there as an extra feature. And I have found um, playing with this, uh, I used it a couple of years ago, no problem. I don't remember having problems with it, but preparing for this tutorial, I've had it crash on me about 50% of the time when adding music. Uh, so save your project before you add the music, not a big problem. Also, usually I create a slideshow in this and then later on I'll bring it into a video editor and just put audio and fade it out when I want. But I want to show you one more feature. So we added that song. So I can come in here to this little clock music icon. I can press play and you're not hearing it. It's coming through my headphones right now. There's music. And what I can do is you can see it's listing. I have seven photos. I can go hit hit or whenever and I can go along with the music and it will add timestamps so it'll actually change to those photos at the time that I'm clicking so you can have the photos go with the music. That is a very useful feature um, if you want the slideshow to go to a beat. Uh, I'm going to click cancel and see if it crashes and it does. So start it back up. So for the most part, like I said, I would avoid, I, I think this is a great program except for the audio features and also wish that it had some sort of face detection for the panning. Um, but real quick, I didn't save that project, but let me quickly come in here. I'm going to go like this. And again, it takes no time whatsoever. I'm just going to do like this and you can resize these too. So if I wanted to, I can take this and go like that. So now it's going to kind of pan down and out from my son's face. Sure. Whatever. Just like that. 
uh, that one, so I want it there. This one, I want it here. This one, like that. That's good, that's good. And I'm gonna go like that on that one. And again, I just go click, click, start, and it's gonna render out, and I'll play that for you. So again, you can create very simple, quick um, slideshows with this, it's just the audio part seems unstable. And again, for the most part, I render out a video like this, I bring into a video editor and I add the music in it and I just fade it out. Because um, besides that, that if you can get that, that timing where you, if you want it changing on certain beats and doing that manually, that's, that's a pretty nice feature in here. But for the most part, I bring it into a video editor, slop down the video that's generated, add the music and cut and fade it out. And I also like fading to black. If you want, I don't think there's any fade to black at the beginning or end of this, in this program. So if you wanted to do that, uh, I guess you basically would add a black image and have it fade in and out. So again, it's a very simple program, but you can see how quickly you can generate a slideshow. And I will now play the video that I'm generating. Oh, and when it is done rendering, there's gonna be a play button right here where this X is if you wanna play it directly from this program or just go to the folder you saved it to. That's it, so thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and here's the video we just generated.